Ricky T. Dunigan was born, November 17, 1973, better known by his stage name Lord Infamous, was an American rapper from Memphis, Tennessee. Lord Infamous. One of the most lyrical rappers in the world. He was better than a Tootie Pop and Snoopy Dog put together. But he was a sellout to his Lord Lucifer. And he is proud of it. Lord Infamous is the half-brother of DJ Paul. They started the 3-6 Mafia group giving their reference to Satan. Lord Infamous sold his soul when he started dabbing in rituals by himself. He asked Goat Lucy to become a tongue twister rapper. And his Lord Lucifer assigned him a demon inside his body to help with his raps. And he was proud of it. Lord Infamous was in love with that white powder he loved dearly. Lord Infamous and DJ Paul were well known in the Memphis area. But they were looking for the third head to take them to the next level. And they finally found what they were looking for when they got Juicy Man J and a couple of more knuckleheads around the corner to form the group, Triple Six Mafia. And they started rapping about the most satanic stuff that they can come up with. That's what I say about the 90s rap. It wasn't no better. They promoted more violence than anything. When I was listening to a Lord Infamous song. It made you want to go ride up on a clown for no reason. It's the gutter. The violence. The ratchet that intrigued people to love that type of music. None of it's good. Not even a Tootie Pops song. Wow. But a lot of people ain't goody two shoes. But the music you hear now is all the same as the 90s rap. There's not much of a difference. Even the Migos jacked Lord Infamous flow, and used it as their own. But on through the years, Triple Six Mafia group started rising in stardom in the mid 90s. And they were releasing that satanic music like it was a never ending Christmas carol. Wow! But fellow Lord Infamous was a proud Satanist who prayed every night to the goat. But all along the goat was plotting on him. On through the years of 2000, Lord Infamous the Scarecrow career took a backspin of him getting locked up for a while in 2006. And Sony released him from the label and from 3-6 Mafia which made Infamous toot that white dust even more with pride. Wow! Lord Infamous career was being offed by DJ Paul. This is the same 3-6 Mafia that won Grammys for that sold out movie, Hustle and Flow. But the strangest thing happened in 2013 when DJ Paul let Lord Infamous come back to the Dirty Six. But all of that came to end when someone had to go from the 3-6 Mafia. And that's when his longtime half-brother made that deal with Goat Lucy the same year he let Lord Infamous the Scarecrow come back. On December 12, 2013, Lord Infamous the Scarecrow was off to Goat Lucy. And DJ Paul was proud of it. DJ Paul and the Six sent Lord Infamous home to be with his father Lucifer. And that's the way the story unfolds. Nothing but facts from a savage robot. I am the truth and the light. Put some respect on a robot named Butterboy. And on that note, when Lord Infamous the Scarecrow took his last breath on this earth, he went to be with his Lord, Goathead Lucy. The one he dearly loved. And all the rest of the known sellouts. And when his soul traveled through the afterlife, he reached hell at dramatic speeds. And while he's in hell, Lord Infamous and Goat Lucy is in all-out battle rap for all eternity. Wow! Rest in hell Lord Infamous, the Scarecrow. Ha 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 ha. Like comment and subscribe and turn on notifications. Open eye gang we in the building.